Alright, we're running. Um, what am I playing? I'm playing Demir with a very light green splash to actually make my creatures matter. Uh, the only green I have is Force Adaptation, I believe. I'm going to keep this. This isn't, this isn't too bad. I'm going to just play a Swamp and pass the turn. What's Danielle going to do? She plays in a mountain and passes the turn. Loverly. Here's a... What's that? Swamp. Let's play a Swamp. Drop a bat. So we can attack. Next turn we'll go Prism. What's Danielle going to do? Play another mountain. All right. Here's an island and we're good to go. All right, time to turn it up. Paranoid Delusions is the fuel of this deck. Fusion, uh, Paranoid Delusions has to connect, so we're going to target it, uh, target Danielle with it. What it's going to do is it's going to make her mill the top three cards of her library to the graveyard, and it's got Cypher. That means I can put it on another one of my creatures. If that creature causes combat damage, then the effect goes again. So we're going to pay two, a black and a blue. Uh, we're going to extort. Let's go ahead and extort. We'll pay a black to gain one life. And she'll lose a life. We're going to cypher it onto my bat. And the bat's going to attack and make her mill. Let's see. She already milled three because of the spell itself. And now when the bat attacks, the spell's going to be cast once more. And she'll mill for three. That's the that's the key for this deck. Oh, uh, I probably shouldn't have. I could also extort, but that's not the way to win with this deck. Let's, let's look at her graveyard. Oh, she's playing red-green? Oh, she's playing red-green. This is everything that's in her graveyard thus far. We're going to count it as it goes off. I see she played um, a forest. Three lands and nothing. That's not good for her. Okay, so we got access to every single one of the colors that we will need. Here's two mana so we can play the prism, which is going to make us be able to filter colors. Uh, we can change mana into whatever color we need. Uh, and we'll also draw a card. Uh, no, I'm not going to extort. Oh, I was supposed to shoot. I was supposed to cast this before we went in. Did I draw or I drew this, I guess? It'll be all right. It'll be okay. We, we goofed. We goofed already, but that's fine. We're going to attack. She's not going to be able to block. Uh, it's going to go off again. She's going to mill three more cards. What is she put in the graveyard? Uh, I mean, we could. Could we? No, let's not. Let's not uh, extort because then I want to be able to play Devour Flesh if I need to. She, if she actually plays a creature, we can get rid of it and go, go for the head. Three more cards hit the graveyard. Millennium Gargoyle, a mountain in Zer, Twa, Swine. All right. So we just got to wait for her to drop something. There it is. She's going to play Glore, Gore Clan Rampager. 4-4 uh, four, four with Trample. Sad. Sad. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and have her sacrifice the creature. She'll gain life equal to its power, I believe. Or its toughness. She'll gain four. Life, but that's all right. We're not going for life. No, we're not going to extort. Stop asking me. That's a silly question. All right. So now let's do this turn right. Target reveals cards on top of the library until she reveals a land, and all those hit the graveyard. Let's see. We can't cast both Paranoid Delusions and Balu Street Spy. So we're going to go for Paranoid Delusions again from the hand. Targeting Danielle. She's going to mill two. Oh, we're, oh are we going to extort? Yeah, we have no reason not to. Let's extort. I will play a black, or we'll pay a black, excuse me. We're going to cipher. Oh, let's take a look at the three that got sent. Adaptive Snapjaw, a mountain, and another Zertog swine. It's going to go on. So that thing, my, 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 uh, my Basilica Screecher is actually holding two different Paranoid Delusions. Uh, we're going to attack. It's going to deal one damage. That's the fun part for her. Then both of the abilities, both of the Paranoid Delusions will go off. She's going to mill six more cards. Let's see what she mills. Uh, we're going to cast it. Yes, targeting her. We can, uh, yes, we can extort. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to extort. Uh, let's make that a black mana just for the fact that I don't want to mess up in future turns. All right, so the first one milled out these three here. Uh, Adaptive Snapjaw, uh, Slaughterhorn, and Ruination Worm. And then we'll cast a second one as well, targeting Danielle. We're going to extort. Our life is looking fine. Hers is not looking so good. Let's see. She milled three more cards through Force and a Warmind Infantry. Poor thing. Sad. <laughs> Sad. On her next mill, I believe that should be it. 
We'll be close. We'll be close to that being good. She's going to cast Scab Clan Charger. Sally, the man, doesn't have a... It doesn't have... What's it called? It doesn't have flying. And she casts Mugging. It's going to deal two damage to my creature. Oh, the fun's over. All right, so we can we can stop looking at those two. Those two are gone. You can't attack. Should be all right. Here's the Guild Gate. We're going to play Bullistrate Spy. Another flyer. One, two, three, four. When it enters, a uh, target player reveals cards from the top of the library until they reveal a land. And then all cards revealed that way go to the graveyard. Go ahead. All right, so she lost three cards that way. The last one being a land. Then she also lost Riot Gear and Krakonura. Should be okay. Should be okay for a hot minute. All right, Danielle, what you got? She plays Ruination Worm. This is looking too good. Gonna attack. Uh, let's see. Do we have to, anything to worry about? No, she's tapped out of mana. We can block. Oh, wait. Can we not block? Oh, okay. I was trying to do it at the wrong time. All right. We're not losing anything today. Not today. Dust Mantle Guild Mage. All right. The milling game is not over just yet. Uh, I'm going to play. Oh, probably. There we go. I'm going to play the guild. What? What? The guild mage. Uh. I can do the second ability now, and the first ability doesn't really matter too much. Uh, remember, we're not trying to win by life. How about uh, we go ahead and do it? We go ahead and do that second ability. Basically, the second ability is going to have target player put the top two cards of their library into the graveyard, which is continuing what we do here. Come on. There we go. Select the player. We'll pay that one green, and then a blue, a black, and another. All right, so she's down to five. She's going to draw this turn. I need to not attack. I'll block the, the what's that, Centaur? Yeah, I'll block the Centaur. She's down to four cards in her deck. Ivy Lane Denizen. This could have a horrible, horrible ending. Ivy Lane Denizen cares about green creatures entering when they do. Uh, the controller can put a plus one, plus one counter on wherever creature they want to. Okay, he's got attack here. Uh all right, let's block. Hopefully things don't go sour. We're going to take seven. I'm okay with taking that seven. All right, but Silicon Creature's back. Perfect. Good show. Let's see. We can mill once more. We'll mill for two. And then next turn, that's probably going to be it. That's probably going to be it for Danielle. Lucky her is best two out of three, so she gets another chance at life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. All right, she only has one card in her deck. If we can get rid of that one card next turn, we'll be fine. I'll block here. Oh, wait, it's not time to pick blockers yet. I did it again. We'll block here. We can block here as well. Won't matter too much. Um, the Ruination Worm is an 8-7. I'm going to be down to 9 life. All right, so we drew. We're going to play Dust Approach on Ruination Worm. Pay a black. Got you. He's dead. Ruination Worm is no more, as if that was what she had to worry about, losing that. We're going to make her mill four. I'm sorry, mill two. And we're just going to pass the turn. We're just going to pass the turn. She's going to lose round one, boys. She's going to lose round one, boys. <clears throat> is there anything I'd switch in? Honestly, I don't think I would switch in anything for this matchup. I think we're good here. I think we're good. Let's ride. All right, so she picked who's going first. I'm going to keep this hand. She's going first. There's a forest. I wonder if she just pulled book, big creatures. That's what it seems like. All she took was big creatures. I mean, it doesn't help that we, we milled her deck, but you know. We got a bat and a par uh, uh, paranoid delusions in our hand. We'll be fine. Fam a lamb. Here's an island. We're going to cast the bat. Things are going to look swell for us. Danielle, what's she going to do? She casts Slaughterhorn. She got a lot of Blood Rush cards and aren't using them for Blood Rush. That's interesting. Here's an island. Oh, I can't you. I can't extort. What I could do, though, if she doesn't play a creature and I do Hands of Binding, I can attack. I'm sorry, I can tap one of her creatures, attack and tap the other. They'll both be locked down. And next turn, I can come in again for Paranoid Delusions twice. Not that it matters because we have Flying. 
So I think what I need to do is play the guild mage first. Uh, no, we store it. We can't pay it. I'm not going to attack. I'm not going to attack this turn. He's probably going to attack. Okay, she's got a blocker. She's got a blocker. Yep, she's going to attack. All right, we're going to let it ride. We'll take that three. It's okay. Okay, so what we can do now, hands of binding. We'll tap down the flyer, the gargoyle, the two two of flying. Uh, we're going to extort. No, we're not going to extort. We're going to cipher it onto my bat. So when the bat attacks again, uh, hands of binding will go off. This handway paranoid delusion went off twice. So what we're going to do here is we're going to attack in the air with just the bat. She can't block. Paranoid Delusion is going to go. I'm sorry. Hand of Binding is going to go off again. We're going to tap the green side watcher. Oh, not going to extort. Now, the green side watcher and the me uh, Millennial Gargoyle are both tapped down and don't untap next turn. She can attack with the Slaughter Horn, but I don't think she'll want to do that really, to be honest. That's just my, that's just my judgment of it. Uh, Disciple of the Old Ways. Pre-combat, yeah, she's going to attack with a 3-2. All right, she asked for it. If I draw a swamp, she's in trouble. Okay, she's lucky. Oh, she's lucky. All right, let's play the Cloudfin Raptor. I'm not going to extort. What we're going to do is we're going to cast Paranoid Delusions, uh, selecting Danielle as the target. So she's going to mill three. Let's take a look. I'm not going to extort. Let's take a look. Cypher, yes, we're going to cypher it onto Basilica Screecher. Let's see. Oh, so Basilica Screecher's holding both of these. It'll tap down something for a turn and mill three. Uh, let's take a look at her graveyard. What do we put in there? Because she's got some big stuff. Nothing big yet. Riot gear and two lands. All right, so we're going to attack. Uh, she can't give it first strike. She can't give Disciple of the Old Ways first strike. So if she does block, these will both die. These will both die. But I don't think I need to worry about that, to be honest. What I need to worry about is this flyer. Uh, let's see. We're going to attack with Basilica Screecher by itself. It's going to connect. We're going to mill three and then tap something down. What I'm going to tap down is the Millennial Gargoyle. It's the only thing that can block my flyer. And if the win condition is milling via Paranoid Delusion, then that's how we have to win. We have to tap down the flyer. Uh, yes, we got Cast Paranoid Delusions focusing on Danielle. No, we're not going to extort. Let's take a look at the three that are in there now. All right, we got Krakenura, Gore Clan Rampager, and Ivy Lane Dunnison. Those were actually good cards for in the last round. All right, what's she going to do? Another Slaughterhorn. That's weird that she's not using uh, Blood Rush to make them stronger. Uh, it's like blockers. No, you can't make me. You can't make me. I'll take it. I'll be all right. Hey, another Paranoid Illusions. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. We'll cast it on Danielle. Pay for it. No, we're not going to extort. Stop asking me that. It's rude. You don't know my, my mission. Uh, we're going to cast. Uh, we're going to cipher that to Basilica Screecher. So Basilica Screecher is now at milling six every time it connects. Let's see. I need to move it so it doesn't block my hand. That doesn't make sense. And it also taps down as well. So here we go. Let's see, gonna connect. Uh, let's see, this one's hand, uh, hands are binding. Yes, we're gonna cast it, we're gonna tap down. Let's keep tapping this down. We'll keep tapping down the Millennial Gargoyle. No, we're not gonna extort. We are gonna cast Paranoid Delusions once and twice. All right, let's take a look at everything that she's lost. Everything that she's lost. She has lost another land, Gore. Clan Rampager. Mugging, which was great. Mugging is what got rid of the Basilica last time. She lost another swine and two more lands. Alright, it's not looking good for her, to be honest. If I was Danielle, I'd be a little bit worried. Uh, she played Adaptive Snapjaw, which has Evolve. A 6-2 would Evolve. That's crazy, son. Should I block something? I think I'm at the point where I need to start blocking. We'll be... F oh, no, no. You silly... Here you go. All right, we'll kill that one. And I'm taking three still. That'll be all right. Uh, oh, she's in trouble now, son. 
Here's uh okay. So here's what we have. We have Dusk Mantle with his face. He's a blue creature. I'm sorry, he's a creature with more power and or toughness than Cloudfin Raptor, so Cloudfin Raptor is gonna evolve. It will actually be able to deal damage in the event that it blocks. All right, we could also cast the other Paranoid Delusions. We're going to target Danielle. Danielle actually just lost the game, I think. Oh, uh, no, we're not going to extort. She's going to lose three cards. Let's see what three she lost. She lost, uh, oh, she lost, oh, wait, these three. Okay, so she lost another Centaur, another Swine, and a Warmind Infantry. Uh, yes, we're going to cipher it, silly butt. We're going to put it on Basilica Screecher. Basilica Screecher is now set to mill three cards. I'm sorry, nine cards every time it connects. She only has nine cards left in her deck. Danielle is toast. Danielle is toast. The game is over. Uh, it, we'll also tap something down. Can't forget that. We'll also tap something down. Has a copy of Paranoid Delusions, of course, on Danielle. No, don't ask me to extort. You can't make me. Another one on Danielle. And no, we're not going to extort. And another one. Oh, Hands of Binding. Yes, we'll put it on here. Uh, and then we'll move on. And then another Paranoid Illusions. All right. That is Danielle's entire deck. That deck is gone. She had the Ruination Worm in her hand. All right. And then she has two cards left in her hand. The other one must be in there as well. I remember there being two. All right, Danielle, GG, no re. <laughs> That's it.